I found a better place to film. Lovely lighting here. Hopefully it's fairly good audio as well. Right, so best lucid dreaming movies. This is a post, I've, a video sorry, I've been waiting to make for a while. The trouble is, because of all these new copyright laws and all these data protection nonsenses and everything like that, I don't think I'm gonna be able to actually include clips of these movies in this video, you know, in this, in this actual video. But what I can do is I can make a list of them, put them in the description, and then give you some links to go and watch trailers and stuff like that. So, the first Lucid Dreaming movie on the list, it's gotta be Inception, guys. If you haven't seen Inception and you've come this far, you're into Lucid Dreaming, what are you doing? Like, go and watch this film. It's a great introduction to Lucid Dreaming. And there's, there's a few things in it which sort of, are myths or misconceptions, but again, it's a film, you know, it's fiction, it's, it's science fiction. It's not meant to be exactly what is the case, you know, what actually happens with lucid dreaming. It's just meant to be a fictional piece of entertainment and it's really good. It really is a great film. Second one, and this isn't really a film, but the Matrix trilogy. Guys, the Matrix has so many similarities with lucid dreaming. There are probably more similarities in this trilogy than there are in Inception and any other lucid dreaming film out there. The Matrix really does describe how things work fairly accurately, right? Like whatever the character expects to happen is what happens. You know, you can bend the rules if you expect to be able to do it. It's a very good trilogy and to be honest, it alludes to a lot of things that are true in waking life as well as the lucid dream. Very good trilogy, well worth watching in order. Don't just skip to the end like most people and just, you know, go back and then fill in the story. You need to watch it in order to get the full effect of it, really. Number three, The Good Knight. For those of you who are fans of Sherlock, the actor who plays John, John Watson, is in this film. He is a very good actor, and in this film he really does shine. This is a film about somebody who discovers lucid dreaming in their waking life as they're having some problems with their relationship, and it just, as the story unfolds, he, he learns more and more about lucid dreaming and how it can help him. Very good film, very motivating, uplifting film. Number four, Vanilla Sky, starring Tom Cruise. Another really good film about lucid dreaming. I'm not actually gonna say anything about it because I feel like anything I say might ruin the storyline or give, thing, give things away that are better if you just experience them in chronological order. So go and watch Vanilla Sky. Number five, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. This is a film starring one of my favorite actors, Jim Carrey. This is a really good film for a number of reasons. It's sort of about lucid dreaming. It's more about someone losing their memory and sort of exploring their memory as if it were a dream itself. So I, I thought I'd include it in this list just because it really is a great piece of acting. Some really good similarities between this and lucid dreaming and it's just a really good overall feel good film. Most of Jim Carrey's films are. Number six, Anamnesis. This isn't actually a lucid dreaming film at all. It's a web series. I actually did an interview with the creators of Anamnesis. It's a really good series. I wish they would make more of it, um, but obviously they can't do that without your support and funding and stuff like that. So if you do happen to watch the trailer, there should be a link in the description. Go ahead and look at their website. If they've got any sort of funding campaigns or anything like that, donate a bit to them. If not, then just give them a, give them support by liking or commenting on their video. That will really help them out a bit. Number seven, Total Recall. This is a film that was actually made years ago and they, they've only just recently remade it, but it's a film regarding memory and being unaware of your past memories and a life that you might have lived before. It's a really good interesting take on memory and you know what what is reality, uh, what actually can be defined as real. Because in Total Recall they sort of sell memories, they sell experiences as if they were films. And it's kind of inter an interesting concept, you know, what in the future what will happen? Will we have to instead of going on holiday, will we just sort of buy the memory of going on holiday and they just plug it into our brain and then we feel like we've been, but we don't have to actually go anywhere? I don't know, it's a very interesting idea, well worth a watch. Number eight isn't really directly about lucid dreaming, but source code. Source code features a lot of similarities uh, between lucid dreaming and, you know, there's, there's a lot of things in it which are very thought-provoking ideas. It's about when you die and you're sort of able to access part of a memory that still exists in your brain just for a few minutes and they use this to solve crimes and work work out who did what but yeah great film really good ending as well number nine the last one is avatar now although this isn't directly about lucid dreaming avatar is a really good film in the sense that it's about escapism and projecting yourself into your avatar right your dream character as you as a lucid dreamer you take control of a dream character which is essentially like your avatar or your vehicle with which you explore the dream world. Avatar is pretty much the same thing, right? Alien planet and the military find a way of putting someone's consciousness into an alien body, even temporarily, so that they can control that body and explore the alien world without 
basically dying because the alien world is really inhospitable. There's oxygen problems, you know, they can't really breathe on it as humans, but, but by projecting their consciousness into an alien body or the avatar, they're able to explore the world. It's pretty cool. I won't give anything away, but yeah, definitely worth a watch. So if you liked these films, please leave a comment if I missed any. I really want to hear what you guys think is the best lucid dreaming film. So definitely leave a comment right now. Let me know what the best lucid dreaming film is. The best comment, as in the best film that I have never heard of that I go and then watch a trailer and then decide is the best one. And also the most upvoted comment will be featured in the next video. You might even win a prize. I don't know yet. Depends how I'm feeling. Go and leave a comment, leave a like, and I'll see you next time. Done.